welcome back. Here is the final starter home in Willow Creek. I renovated it using the starting budget. Again, it's not fully a starter home. When I put it onto the gallery, it did say it was like 20 some thousand, which I don't think I'll ever understand Sims money. Because I only ever bought this property with a sim who started at 20000 And you reused and only purchased what was left with her budget. Um, I will probably in the future actually make starter homes. But I figured for at least these Willow Creek ones, these are pretty good. Because if even if you don't download my build you can just kind of see how you can do it yourself especially with that starting budget and you're gonna see it took an hour for me to renovate this and i'm not sure if it's just because i was just that slow or if i was distracted probably will you'll see a little bit of jump cuts here and there i've cut out a couple of things where i was really indecisive and i was like you just probably don't care so if you see a couple jumps here and there, that's why. I was initially going to go with the outside theme of the yellow with the green. I really liked it. I did actually genuinely think that that's a good color scheme. But on the inside, everything kind of started going a bit more modern. And I say that very loosely because everything in here is definitely not modern but i wanted to try to use items that don't really get used that often and you'll see that come with um the living room because instead of using the standard couch that that one right there which everybody uses i Went for a different base game couch because I just wanted to do something different. And you are going to see the door to the bedroom change to enter through that like little hallway office area. Because I just wanted a nook to make a living room. There it is. There's that change. And I think I also decided... It was like at this moment, I was like, I want to use different swatches. And so I'm like, I'm going to find a different nightstand. So it was the bedroom that really just kind of, I say modern, those lamps are not modern. Those are lamps that my grandmother had. But then I started using like the 20th anniversary update stuff. I was like, oh, these are, well, they're mid-century modern. But... I felt like they kind of fit. And here's where I kind of decide to change up the couch and chairs. Because these are actually genuinely really good couches in base game that had like the accent cushions that I completely forgot we had. I know like the recent packs we've been getting those up like couches with like um blankets and pillows on them and everyone's like freaking out because they're beautiful and this couch already had it <clears throat> and you can see in the dining room i did like a black and white i'm doing the same thing in the office i am going to add a pop of color onto the wall with artwork in that office which you'll see soon but i just felt like just using things I never typically use. Oh, and this is where I found those lamps. I'm like, well, those are clearly better. There's that pop of color. Which I love the update they did where they added in extra um artwork by creators. It's so good. There's so many really nice ones. And, I mean, this build's pretty typical. 
you'll see that for the most part, it's like a basic standard build. TV, I downgraded the TV for more money. I sized it up. Added some artwork in, cause you know, why not? I think this house, I think is a good size. It's very wide. And I think that's the only issue I hold with this house. It's a good size for one bedroom, one bath, but it is just a little too wide. And I guess you can poke holes at everything. It was at this point, by the way, in the build, I was like, oh, I have to paint walls. I need to get money back. And I think you'll see me go outside and delete all the uh, landscaping because I'm like, I need money. So. And I'll go through and paint all the walls. Again, I try to use like swatches I don't normally use. I don't normally use that tile swatch. I don't normally use the wallpaper that's going to be going up in the living room, dining room. Because, but it's beautiful. It just has like little flowers on it. It's very nice. But I'm happy to have done the base game, starter homes, redoing them. It's really quite nice just to be able to come in and be like, this is what you actually can do. And have everything that you want to have in it. Because this house has a bookshelf. It has a easel. Um, and it has a computer. Which are like probably the three best things to have for skill building. And I just, I really wanted to make sure that I had those. Because it's. I think, and I know a lot of other people that play The Sims agree, that it's Sims 4 especially, it's essential to have a computer at your house. And not having one to start is rough. I know you have your phone you can get a job from, but 9 times out of 10, they need you to do stuff on the computer. You can see this jump cut. I cut here because I was like, I'm going to make... The windows and the door are all white. And you can see they're all white. And then I came back through and I changed that outside. And I made it white. And then I went, I don't like it. I'm going to change them all to black. But I didn't like them on the white. Um, the white siding. So I changed it to like a gray. And I decided I like that better. It's really nice. That's why I say it's like modern-esque. It's very much not something you would see in a neighborhood like this that has very traditional looking houses. And that's kind of why I wanted to do this. But anyway, we're into landscaping. I put on move objects. I've put in the debug codes. Because I did not have a lot of money. But I want to do something different than what I normally do. And my initial thought, especially when I put the easel down initially, was like, I want to have the easel in the yard. This is one of the lots that are bigger. We're starting. And it just kind of made sense to have a little side something. But I knew I wasn't going to have enough money to do, like, a traditional side yard. So I was like, well, let's just make this a creative. A kind of contemporary. Maybe they've lived in the city and this is their first home. And they just really enjoy stark contrast from the outside to the inside. But they're creative. So I wanted to give them a beautiful spot to paint. And then I decided to do 
landscaping around that. And you're going to see, I did my best. I'm not sure I'm like 100% in for this landscaping. It's not bad by any means. I do genuinely think it's pretty decent landscaping. I'm not entirely sure about the bushes all the way around the house. I think I'd probably change that if I changed anything. That just seemed like a poor choice. <laughs> but I chose it nonetheless. But you'll see around that pathway I made, I didn't landscape all the way around it because that just didn't seem realistic to have this beautifully landscaped pathway and like nothing nowhere else. I just felt like it was, it's more realistic to have places where it's kind of wild and overgrown around a tree and maybe a pathway. And then have this other bit of the pathway kind of just been like, you put it here. That's not really landscaped. And you'll see a little bit. I used rocks and I try to use rocks to kind of define starting points and stopping points. And then the terrain tool to add in that shadow of dirt around the bushes, the house, and the pathway. Which just kind of makes it feel like it's worn, but you don't necessarily need it to be perfect. I like the one thing about The Sims, for me, is sometimes it flows naturally and sometimes it really doesn't. Like this part, I was like, oh, this is beautiful. Like, yeah, I would love to have something that looks like this. I want to make sure, you know, this part's beautiful because they would keep this up to have this be perfect to paint. And they would keep up the front, but then it's just like that sharp edge. Should I have left it a sharp edge? Who's to say? <laughs> It's a choice. It was made. Like I said, it took about an hour to do it. So I think towards the end, I was just kind of like, it's done. I still really like it. I think it's a good renovation. I think it's a good upgrade from what EA had. And realistically stayed within a budget that you would have if you had a sim. So as that comes, landscaping finishes up. And it will pretty shortly. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm going to have another renovation up. It's going to be a bit different because it's going to be one of the starter families. We'll have that up soon. And I think I'm going to also start trying to create some uh, houses. So I will say goodbye and I hope you enjoy. See you later.